What's going on guys? Today I'm here to talk to you about an overlay of one of the most epic swim baits ever. And then on top of that, how to supercharge the swim bait to make it even better than it already is. All right, actually two of them. We're talking about the Savage Gear, Shine Glide, and the 3D Glide Swimmer. Two very, very epic baits. Love them. And I'll show you why. Savage Gear has changed the swim bait market forever. It has not only made a bait that is super affordable in terms of how expensive swim baits are in a general basis, but it's also made a bait that is extremely effective. It's not cheap for any reason. You're much less likely, in my opinion, to ever get skunked on using one of these baits versus any other bait there on the market. So for the mainstream fisherman who's just trying to add more common knowledge to their bait use and expand their knowledge for their fishing ability, and just try out new things in general, Savage Gear has made a really, really affordable platform. So there's really not a whole lot of risk to get one of these baits versus its outcome. During my time here fishing on the Colorado River, I've been very, very blessed and privileged to fish with a lot of the friends I've got. I've been able to meet over time and all of them, much better fishermen than I am, will all attest to the effectiveness of this bait, its ability to catch big fish, its ability to kind of withstand over time. Savage Gear is one of the only companies out there that have actually been able to make a successful swim bait line that is global, along with River to Sea and Jackal. But right here, you see this fish. This is a 25 pound striper. These fish are not stupid. These, this is a freshwater striper. These are the kind of fish that go up to you and look at your bait and then just laugh at it and swim off. But these ones, they take the Savage Gear baits. And this is just with a bait stock. But there are actual ways to enhance this and modify this bait to a point where it's even more effective, even more realistic. It has its own unique edge over its stock form. And it doesn't take very much effort or time to put through. It's actually a very, very simple mod. We're gonna talk about it right now. Check this out. So this is a Shine Glide, stock Shine Glide. Very nice finish. It attracts fish. The movement in itself tracks fish. Fish come out of the depths, coming out and check out it. This is the same bait, okay? But with a gizzard shad overlay. That's on the thread fin pattern and it just pops. I know you probably can't see the true legitimacy of this bait unless it's in the water, like in front of you. Like my camera doesn't do it justice, but maybe you can get a glimpse of it and sort of how it enhances the natural shine from the pattern and it's, it's over through with the overlay. And you can even see in the face, the gills, the darkening patterns, the fins on the bottom, everything on this. This bait looks absolutely awesome in the water. And the fish don't turn away as much, like they will commit to it. So you know, higher commitment rate with the wrap. Again, this is their Dirty Silver Flash pattern. And this is the Dirty Silver Flash with another gizzard wrap over it. Like the overlaying wrap with giving your own individual scale pattern. I know my phone's gonna start messing up here, but check out that. I've slammed a lot of fish on this one. Really, really done well. Also another really good pattern here, I have the Glitter Shad, okay? This is actually, I don't know how he did this, or what he did, but like, this is a pattern of glitter inside scales. Like, it looks like a gizzard pattern. It's not just a random bunch of glitter all over the place. They're actually in a scale pattern. And you can really see this, it pops in the sun. It just says, hey, look at me, come eat me. Like, it's a very, very awesome. It attracts a lot of fish. You'll see a lot of fish just come out from the depths and check it out. Also, when I'm going for big striper, big striper love trout. We throw a bone glide. I mean, there is no substitute for the bone glide. So we keep this one stock, obviously. This is an awesome, awesome bait. Or like when we're trying to throw, I mean, try to match the hatch in the size. Check out that trout pattern. He wrapped this. That's a legit wrap. You can actually buy these wraps yourself and self-install them. And he's got a lot of them just stock. Like for all these shine glides, he's got them stock. You can just order them, buy them. There's installation vids on how to apply them. And you don't really have to wait for them. Just get them in the mail and put them on, um, cut to fit you know, and just do them yourself. Like I'll also probably like me be putting out some installation vids for him through my channel as well. But check out this thing. Isn't that sick? This is also the Dirty Silver Flash, like a five inch um, th 3D Glide Swimmer, but that's in a thread fin pattern, Shine Glide in a thread fin pattern. So they're very cool. He, I mean, he has different patterns. Check out the following footage. They're specifically on these five inchers. I love them. I love to throw them during this season. It's just when the shad is running, and these match the hatch so well. They represent such a good bait fish. Check this out. This bait, it's such an ingenious bait because it's an actual legit good production of a five and a half inch bait. It works so incredibly well. It resembles a bait fish so well in the water. I mean, Savage Gear definitely killed it when they made this. And in conjunction with the realistic wraps, 
you know, from Alex's like gizzard wraps, like a clear wrap over of like more realistic features from the actual shad that just make this thing pop out of control. And just the fish are really, really drawn to it. It's fantastic. Got some jerk to you. Oh. Oh, you got some size. You wanted the size. You wanted Alex's freaking shed. in death rolled like I like I wouldn't believe and then it just planed in <laughs> back to three pounders today destroyed that thing. Absolutely destroyed it. Death rolling. Don't death roll on me. Just get up. get. I haven't caught a small in a very, very long time. No, stay pin, please. Please. Please stay pin. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh I can't caught. Oh man. Sorry. I lost my composure. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Woo, he got off. That's a big fish. Holy oh, shit. All right guys, so there you have it. There's full demos kind of in each section. There's a little bit, not a whole lot by me in specific for the glide swimmer. 
for a lot of my friends who uh, let me allow me to film their fishing ventures um, in the very very beginning clips. That's a lot with the glide swimmer. That's that's from the the five inch all the way up to the eight inch. And then um, of course me demoing mainly these two. I mean mainly because these are wrapped. Um, these are pretty awesome. I do have moss of these. These are much thicker, stouter hooks. These are like 4x hook, 4x strong hooks, okay? And they're on 60 pound split rings. The 3D Glide Swimmer, on the other hand, has very, very stout, like big fish, big fighting fish ready hooks. Um, I also did switch out to the smaller ones. In any smaller bait, you're gonna find smaller hooks. But I did switch them out to Gamakatsu uh, 2x, you know, round bend hooks with also 60 pound split rings. And uh, this one's able to crank in fish. A lot of those fish that you saw me catch on these things, well, they start death rolling. They start bending out those like those thinner, more brittle hooks like very, very quickly, and I lost a lot of fish. I didn't lose one fish when I fished this whole bait that whole day. Uh, and I also would caution, the, I don't, these baits aren't cheap. They're not like brittle by any means, but they're not very, very impact resistant. And so I have broken these, unfortunately, on docks. You know, just, but those are, those are operator error. I mean, so just letting you know, like they're, better for wide open water or if you're a really pro caster you can cast them in there but I mean they are prone to like cracking and breaking if if you clip something that's 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 hard like so if you cast them next to rocks just be careful um, very good bait for the money I don't think it can be beat honestly there are a few good competitors out there I don't want to see them completely biased because this is, this is an independent review but you know there are the ones like you know that are put out by Jack Holm. definitely river to see another favorite of mine but uh, I still think Savage Grip comes on top on all honestly on all platforms between the three of them and if you get one of these, or if you get the Glide Swimmer, you'll find out why. All right, guys, peace. Supercharger swim baits on a level that they've never been before. Throw that bait, make all your friends jealous. Do what you gotta do, but you gotta get your hands on these, especially during the winter time when the shad are running. All right, peace.